Hey, what is up guys? Hi, everybody. Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I want to talk about iOS 16.5, the latest major update coming from Apple. And I wanted to share with you guys a few settings you should definitely look into, check or change right after you update to iOS 16.5. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Okay, so the first thing I would like to share with you guys is a few settings you should definitely look into. A few updates they may be on your iPhone aside from iOS 16.5. And I wanna start off with carrier updates. So if you go into settings here and then you tap into general and tap into the about section here, you may see a carrier update populate on your screen or pop up here in the center of your screen. Of course, if there's any carrier update, you want to click update carrier settings in order to have better network compatibility, performance, and overall call quality improvements as well. Now, keep in mind, that's going to be under the about section after you click on general and you see a pop up there. Make sure you update your carrier settings. Not everyone will see this, but if you do see it, make sure you update that. Now, another thing I want to go ahead and talk about is app compatibility and updates. So you want to go into the app store here and then you you want to click into your avatar here and make sure that you check any app updates that may be available for you in order for you to update your applications to be better compatible with the latest iOS 16.5. And even if you have automatic app updates enabled, just make sure you do that because sometimes it may take a day or two before apps actually update for better compatibility. So just check those two things right after you update immediately is the first things I usually do. Now also, if you own an Apple Watch and HomePods, you want to make sure you update those as well for better compatibility. Of course, Apple Watch, you go into the watch application, then you click into the categories here under general software updates and the watch OS 9.5 it should be available alongside iOS 16.5 now for the home pods you want to go into the home application here you want to tap on these three dots on the top right go into home settings here and then tap into software updates and home pod OS 16.5 should be available for the home pods of course you want to update your Apple watch and your home pods for better compatibility through the ecosystem so yeah make sure you update those as well now of course there's also new features available within iOS 16.5 the first thing you should definitely look into is under settings you want to go into your iCloud settings and then you want to tap into subscriptions and under subscription if you scroll all the way to the bottom we have this new setting right here called plan benefits so if you have any plan benefits they will display right there for you so that's something you may want to look into right after updating to the latest OS now you also want to make sure you check out some of the latest updates to the news application there's a new sports tab in the center right there available for you if if you're into sports, the new update is now available for the news application. And there's also new wallpaper and new watch faces. So if we go into the wallpapers categories here, you see that we have a new section here dedicated to pride and we have a new pride wallpaper here. We can go into light or dark mode and it changes the background of the wallpaper, which is pretty neat here. And we also have, of course, the watch face to go along it as well. So if we go into the watch application, go here into watch faces, there's a new watch face available for you as well well if you want to go ahead and rock that new pride wallpaper and pride watch face which is now available in iOS 16.5 now Siri can also start a screen recording by simply using your voice so if you ask Siri to start a screen recording with your voice just start capturing the screen of your iPhone so there's a handful of features within iOS 16.5 but now I want to talk about a few settings you should change and look into after you update now before we continue with some of the settings you should definitely change on your iPhone after updating I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors K school now I've been using K school cases over the last several months I'm sure you guys have seen the cases laying around the studio this is the magic stand case magnetic stand which allows you of course to watch movies and TV shows prop it up for FaceTime calls it is very very useful very nice looking design case I don't interrupt my max save accessory experience or charging because I can just adapt it to the back and the magnets on the magic stand actually improve the user experience when using MagSafe. now of course it also protects your camera it also protects your screen build quality is amazing the stand feels very very sturdy it's not gonna fall off easily or anything like that is available in multiple colors to match your iPhone like gold purple even clear which is one of my favorites and black which is also another one of my favorites as well case cool has now introduced Klarna which if you're a buyer within the US or Europe you'll have time to receive your product and try it out for a few days before you even pay for it meanwhile you still have your 14 days return policy for purchase definitely definitely something I highly
highly recommend if you're looking for a case that's practical and useful. Thank you to Case School for sponsoring today's video. So of course I've been using iOS 16.5 ever since Apple released beta one all the way till now. And of course, here's a few things you should definitely change based on my experience. Number one, if you don't have a constant schedule for your iPhone where you plug it in every day at the same time, unplug it and pick it up in the mornings every day at the same time, you wanna go into battery and then you wanna go into battery health and charging options here. And you may want to turn off clean energy charging and optimize battery charging because these two work together. Number one, this one will help you charge and reduce your carbon footprint by only charging when there's cleaner energy available, which is usually at night. And the number two option, which is optimized battery charging, it'll charge your iPhone up to 80% and then charge that additional 20% right before you pick it up in the morning. What happens is I don't have a regular schedule. So for me, these two don't work as well because sometimes I wake up uh, different times and I pick up my iPhone at different times and I guess it gets messed up with my schedule and I end up with 80% battery life or less when I pick it up in the mornings. So if you have a constant schedule, I would say keep them on. But if you don't, I definitely, definitely recommend you turn them off, especially if you're traveling and things like that, because you can end up with 80% battery life instead of 100 when you go to pick it up in the morning. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go into settings. You want to go into iCloud and then iCloud settings. And one thing I notice is under here at the bottom of the list, we have access iCloud data on the web. So basically, this allows you to access your iCloud mail, contacts, calendars, photos, I mean, everything, notes, reminders, directly from iCloud.com. However, after updating to iOS 16.5, I had to turn it off and turn it back on because I've noticed some of the data wasn't syncing properly with iCloud.com. So you may want to turn it off and turn it back on. And if you don't have it enabled, make sure you enable it because you'll be able to access your data from anywhere using a computer going to iCloud.com, which is very, very useful. And last but not least, Wi-Fi. So if you were having issues where your Wi-Fi connection, which is ask you for your password every single day, then you want to go ahead and make sure you go into settings here. You want to go into general, scroll to the bottom, and then go into transfers and reset iPhone here, and then click on reset and only reset right here, the network settings. So click on reset network settings, and this should fix the issue for you where you would have to enter your Wi-Fi password every single day. This is a complaint that many users have reported where you would have to enter your password many times throughout the week, even if it was your home network or work network, typical networks that you connect to every day will continue to ask you for the password. If you had that issue, just reset your network settings after updating to 16.5, enter your password one more time, and this should fix everything for you. And that about brings an end to this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below about the latest iOS 16.5. And have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.